Hey guys, so I am getting ready to make a little afternoon treat for my kiddos. So we are making cookies and cream popsicles or quicksicles as we call them. Um, I think I'm actually going to make two of those. Well, I'll probably make three and then I'm probably going to make myself um, some cold brew ones afterwards. I'll make theirs first. Cold brew ones are so yummy. Good treat for, uh, you know, the adults. So um, this here is our quicksicle maker. It looks like this. You keep this part in your freezer. It has three openings there. She can make three at a time. You can leave this on your countertop and it will um, freeze while they're on the countertop. But I always throw mine back in the freezer because they tend to freeze faster. Plus, if I'm gonna do more than one round of three, um, that way it freezes faster and I don't have to wait as long. But you can do up to three sets of three, so nine popsicles before having to refreeze the whole thing. Um, I, like I said, I tend to do three um, in the freezer, pull it back out, put three more in. That That's what works best for me um, if we're gonna do more than three. It's just faster. My kids, you know, they can't wait a whole nine minutes. It takes about nine minutes and they don't like to wait that long. So then it comes with these sticks. You get six of these with um, your quick school maker. They are specifically what you want here. They have these little spots here that actually rest right in there. So then you put those right down inside and then you just pour your ingredients in. So for this one, the cookies and cream, we are going to first crush some Oreos. So three Oreos for this. Um, I'm gonna grab three of these out of here and put them in our manual food processor. So this is great for lots of things, but especially great for crushing Oreos. Um, I also use this to make salsa, guacamole, hummus, anything like that. Crushing graham crackers if you do like cheesecakes. So great to use. All I'm gonna do then is put the lid on. The blade I didn't mention is removable. That can come out and this and the blade are both dishwasher safe. And then the top with the handle, you're gonna wanna just wash by hand. Um, don't submerge it in water. You just want to like wipe it down with soapy washcloth and rinse it off. So then you just crank up and down like that. Real easy. My kids love to help with this. It's a very easy uh, activity to have them help with because they think it's super fun. So we'll see how we're doing here. Maybe a couple more. And the more you do this, the finer it will be chopped up. So say you're doing onions. You can chop up your onions in here. And if you want them really finely chopped, just do it for you know a little bit longer. If you don't need them as finely chopped, you can do less time. So uh, there we go. See how easy that is. And then we can take this blade right out and all our cookies are right in there. Um, and then I am actually going to use this to measure everything else and pour this in here, mainly because even though this has measurements on it, um, this is easier to pour into your quick school maker. This is our silicone, um, prep bowl. This is the large size and then we have two other ones that nest inside here. But they work really good for the quick school maker because you can pinch them and pour right in there. These also are great for melting chocolate. If anybody likes to, you know, dip things in chocolate, make chocolate covered pretzels. So now I have half and half. It was uh, three quarters cups of that. And then we're going to do a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Whoa, that was way more than a quarter teaspoon, guys. Oh, I'm gonna save some of that. I feel like I'm gonna use that and make a second batch now because that, that got a little out of hand. This is when I say, mm, pampered, not perfect. That's the saying, that's how it goes. And then a teaspoon of honey. Let's see if I cannot overflow the honey as bad as I did with the uh, vanilla. All right, so then we're gonna put that in there. Let's see, I probably don't have a skinny scraper. Nope, all my scrapers are in the dishwasher, my skinny ones. This one will work. So um, I'm gonna scrape the last of that out of there and then I'm gonna use this to stir with as well. All right, so those three ingredients plus our Oreos, put those in there and we're gonna stir this up real good. And then we're just gonna pour them into the Quixco mold. Now because there are those chunks of Oreos, it's kind of good to pour it in three um, like pour a little in each and then go back and pour a little in each only because of course um, the Oreos are going to start to sink to the bottom and if you don't and we've done this many a times you always have one that's like mainly cookies and then the kids fight over that of course because why wouldn't they fight over that I mean all right so now we're going to take this we're just going to pinch the sides 
And I'm just gonna pour it in, fill it about halfway up and move on to the next one. And just fill up each one, like I said, about halfway. There's some big chunks of cookie in that one. Whoop, there we go. And there is a fill line on here, I should have showed you, but um, there is a fill line. So you're gonna wanna fill it right about to that line, not much further. And look at all those cookies in the bottom there, guys. So I'm going to take a spoon and try to add a little bit of those cookies into these other ones before they are completely full because otherwise it just seems like a waste. All right, put some in that one. It probably doesn't really need three cookies. I usually end up making a second batch and not putting as many cookies in. Um, but I mean, nobody's gonna complain about extra cookies at all. All right, let's get a little more in there on each side because I added those cookies in. Make sure it's nice and full. All right, they are looking full. So now I'm going to put this in the freezer. Like I said, it takes about nine minutes. I'm looking for a napkin here because I got cookies on me. Really just wanted to lick my fingers, but I didn't do it, guys. Um, so I'm going to put this in the freezer. It'll take, like I said, about nine minutes. Then to get it out, um, it comes with a key, which I did not grab out. I don't know why I never remember to take that out. But it's just a little knob that you place over your quicksicle handle. You twist it because there is holes in the top of these. You twist it into place and then it will actually release the popsicle from the side walls and then you just pull it right out. Um, so that's how you get them out. It's called the key, it does come with it and it's really easy once you have that. You don't have to worry about it coming, you know, being stuck in there and trying to pull. That's the easiest way to go about it um, and that's it. And then you have a treat, a nice, cold, delicious treat. So what you can do in here, all sorts of things. I'm gonna make some cold brew ones after this. I mean, I mean, I might even leave some Oreos in mine. Who knows, maybe it'll be a cold brew Oreo coffee one. You never know. Um, but you could do cold brew coffee in here. You could do um, wine sickles. I've done pina colada ones. Sometimes we do half and half where we'll fill it halfway up with like pink lemonade, freeze it, take it back out, and then do the second half with maybe apple juice, just for something fun because then you'll see the two layers. So it's double layered or triple layered. So there's lots of ideas. You can also add um, fresh fruit in there. If you take like a little um, tweezer and slide it down in there, it's easier to do. Really easy um, and they're just fun. And it's nice to control what's in them. Cookies and cream for sure are my kids' favorite though. So tell me in the comments, what flavor would you try? You never know. Maybe you'll have to try one, guys. All right, I'm gonna finish up. Here I am talking to myself again. Bye for now.